Hello guys, in today's video we are going to create a 3D model of ourselves. You can use that as the main character in your own games or just to create funny animations. The method I'm using is very easy, so stay tuned and you will soon be able to create your own 3D avatar. There are many ways to create a 3D model of yourself. You could sculpt yourself using Blender and texture it with a photo of yourself. There are also many tools that can help you out. But not all of them give decent results. The tool I will use is in my opinion the easiest and with the best result. So the tool we are using to create the uh, 3D models of ourselves is called Avatar. The uh, URL is hub avatar.me and uh, once you've created an account and logged in you are able to create an avatar um, and you can use a camera or you can upload photos you need to take uh, three uh, photos of yourself one of the front one of the left and one of the right and uh, after you've done that the program will automatically create uh, the avatar for you um, you can then uh, choose a, a body type and a skin um, the only downside of this uh, avatar program is that the body types are not that great there's not that many choices you can see I think the um, the chest is a bit too um, too big over here so you can try to make it smaller but then it also doesn't look really nice because the rest of the body doesn't uh, size along with it and uh, also the other uh, body types are not really suitable for this um, model of Mark so um, yeah that would be a bit of uh, an improvement if they could make a bit more options over here to change the body type um, the hairstyle uh, is quite good and there is quite a few choices you can make over here then we've also got this costume that you can uh, put on there are quite a few costumes uh, costumes to choose from but um, it would be nicer if they would have separated the uh, the upper costume and the lower costume so, so you can have even more uh, variations but um, aside from that uh, we got a very nice looking uh, model and uh, after you've created that and you've got it in this uh, in your avatar account you can download it uh, but to do so you need to have a discord um, subscription and you need so so you need to join discord and join uh, their discord channel so I've um, joined discord and um, then um, now it's opening my discord account uh, so you need to go to this bot uh, option and then type avatar and now it gives you the option to export as a GLB file so after you've clicked uh, export to GLB um, you can go to this link And now, if you try again to download the model, it will work. And you can just uh, download it uh, as a T pose. Uh, maybe the customized avatar is uh, the best option for you. So, you can use a plugin to um, use the GLB files with uh, Unity. But if you uh, want to use the default uh, FBX format, you can use the tool, uh, it's also from avatorn.me and uh, you can just drag and drop uh, over here your um, GLB file that you just downloaded and then it will be converted to uh, an FBX file that you can then download again. Once you've downloaded the FBX file on your PC, you can uh, create a new Unity project 
and uh, add the uh, FBX file to the assets and then you can select it and rig it we're gonna rig it as humanoid uh, we're gonna create an avatar from this model we're gonna hit apply and if you now open the uh, model you will see this avatar over here you can see that um, because this model contains uh, elements like a spine and hips Unity has um, mapped them onto um, this avatar so now we can use that to animate uh, our own 3D model for that you're gonna create an uh, animator so let's create a new animator over here um, just open it and uh, I've got some am animations over here that we can add to it like this dance animation so now uh, if we attach this uh, animator to uh, a prefab of this uh, model then we can uh, just uh, play the animation but um, if you uh, take a look at the properties of the animation you will see that uh, this animation also can be uh, rigged to humanoid and uh, then uh, after that's done we uh, are sure that the uh, animation uh, maps to the um, to the model and if we take a look at the avatar that has been used in uh, the animation you can see that um, the names are a bit different over here because we downloaded this animation from Xamo but because it's mapped to the hips uh, it will just uh, find the element of the model that also has a mapping to hips and so the animation will be able to play so for this demo I've uh, created <coughs> so I've created three scenes for the demo this is the dancing scene in this scene we got a spawner that will spawn uh, one of the two avatars and if you open one of the avatars you will see it has uh, a dancer script attached to it and this just uh, sets the uh, animation layer to a random uh, uh, layer between uh, 0 and um, 8 and um, if you open the animator you will see that uh, we got the uh, animations over here all different animations so every uh, character will have uh, a different animation and um, we will have a nice scene with uh, all different kind of animations on it in this scene where we are both flying we have the both uh, avatars over here just in the scene without a spawn or anything and just uh, using one animation where they are falling the characters are falling because uh, they both have uh, a rigid body attached to it and uh, we got a camera over here with uh, a script and uh, this uh, camera script is uh, very simple it's just uh, following the position of the, uh, the object that's given and that's one of the two uh, avatars over here so the camera is just following them and is also uh, looking at them to this camera route over here so this third scene where we are walking uh, over the edge and falling off this uh, building we've got uh, a spawner script as well and this time we got uh, the third person script over here and uh, we got the character controller so we use that to, to create that falling effect and once the character is falling um, 
we've changed uh, the third person controller script a little bit so we indicate when it has fallen and when it's falling on the ground and as soon as it's falling on the ground we set uh, an animation uh, over here and we display that animation that falling animation when we are on the ground that concludes today's video i hope you enjoy playing with your own character if you've created an interesting animation feel free to share a link in the comments as always the source code of my project can be downloaded with a link in the description take care and see you in the next video